Let's do something fun together. Let's get our AT&T iPhone and let's go to settings and search. Type in screen time and then look at how much time you've spent on your phone so far today. Maybe it's too much. If it's over two hours, it's too much. Joining me now is general manager of AT&T, Liz Archuleta. Liz, are you ready to take the test? <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid of what it's going to tell you, but yes, I'm all in. Thanks now, for having me. You work for AT&T, so you you get several phones, I, I guess, do. when you work for AT&T. Okay. And full disclosure, I have AT&T service too. I love it. So, okay, so which is the you said one is your side phone? So, this I have my work phone work and I have phone. my personal phone. But let's not even look at work phone because okay. I can't imagine how many little alerts pop up on your screen through the day. But this is your side phone. Oh no. This is your screen time? This is my daily average screen time. Four hours, 42 minutes of screen time. It's down 36% from last week. Well, that's an improvement. It is. Luckily, I have my screen time off. I never turned it on in the first place. So we never really know how much <laughs> or how bad my phone addiction is. Okay, phones are great, phones are fun, and we always tell our kids, hey, that's enough phone time for you. But adults are in the same boat, and we really shouldn't be spending more than two hours outside of work. Of course, work is different. How do we limit that? So your, your device, whether it's an Android or an Apple device, helps monitor your screen time. So first you gotta diagnose the problem, right? So I gotta turn it on. You have to turn it on. We've enabled that for you, so we're gonna know very soon how much time you're spending on your phone. I'm not down 37%. And you can even drill down into what apps do you spend the most time on? Oh, okay, so this gives you not only your screen time, it tells you where, where are you? Okay, so we got Instagram, everybody's got Instagram, Facebook, and I never had TikTok, but now, Facebook has a little video feed like TikTok, so I'm trying to stay away from TikTok, and there I am. Look, and you can, you'll be like two hours, and then you'll look up and, what have I done with my life? What is going on? So what do we do? It's easy to get sucked in, right? But once you've diagnosed that we've got a, an addiction to social media, your device can help you set some healthier limits. Okay. So we're gonna do this together. This is a big deal, right? I'm okay. gonna add a limit on my social media app. So, so I'm gonna give myself a limit on how much time I spend on Instagram. Oh, that's great. You can literally put a clock on it. I can. And once you've hit your 20 minutes, you're gonna give yourself 20 minutes of Instagram? The whole day? The whole day. The whole 24 hour period? The whole day. Liz? Yes. Are we ready for this? Yes, I'm okay. committed. I'm All committed right. to make the change. What's next? You also, um, can set, for example, downtime restrictions. So if you wanna get a really good night's rest, you gotta stay off your device. So you can set that limit and Where say- Where it won't send you a, a little message or a little notification? Yeah, and you can select what apps are super crucial to you that you're allowed to get notifications from. It lets you customize it. But for me, from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., my device is on Do Not Disturb. Are you trying to tell me that I can tell Duolingo and Robinhood to leave me alone overnight? <laughs> yes. What? Yes, I can help you with that. And of course, you've also got a way to uh, be very careful and limit when you drive. You've got another app that you can do that. And they can find out all of this stuff at their favorite AT&T store. Yes, this absolutely. We'll call it Digital Detox. I think we all need it. Want more information? Go to KTSM.com, click on that Studio 9 tab.